people who asked the universe for some kind of sign and got it clear as day, what was it? When my mom died, I was pretty destroyed. We were very close. I was feeling like I couldn't understand how to live in the world without her. One day I was driving home from work, depressed as hell, and I started thinking how much I'd love it if I could get a sign from her, surprising myself a bit, as I'm not at all religious, and I'm highly skeptical about things like signs from the universe. But I missed her so much that I mentally asked the universe for a sign. She really loved birds, so I thought, wouldn't it be cool if it came in the form of a bird? Maybe a sparrow or even a pigeon or something. I got home, parked my car, and walked up the path to the cottage I was renting, this was in the city of Berkeley, California. As I was unlocking the front door, off to the side a flash of color caught my eye. I turned to look, and it was a Chinese pheasant. I had no idea what it was, I had to look it up, but if you google Chinese pheasants, you'll see why I was so blown away. It was brilliantly colored, with gold on its head and back, orange and black bars on its neck, bright red chest and blue on its wings, the most psychedelic bird I've ever seen. And it was standing on my front porch, a bird native to ducking China. I had no clue how the hell it could even be there. I thought I had to be dreaming, so I got my neighbor to come see it. We stared at it with our jaws hanging open. Then it sort of squawked and flew away. And it hit me, that I had asked the universe for a sign, thinking maybe a drab little sparrow or a pigeon and what I got was a bird that was ridiculously over the top, and it was exactly the kind of joke my mom would have loved. I was in the depths of despair. I had lost my great job, had to travel two hours every day with heavy tools each way to a temporary job I was doing. Sitting on the bus, thinking my world was over and it all kind of got to me all at once and I began to tear up, not wanting to bawl my eyes out in public I held it in. So I asked for something anything that could show me that life wasn't worthless. A lady I didn't see must have how bad I was or maybe it was just coincidence but just after I cried out in my head. I heard the words everything is going to be okay. It saved my life. This wasn't really asking for a sign, but I was going through a lot and in a really shitty and dark place, like the kind of place I honestly wasn't sure I'd survive. I was teetering on the edge of despair and genuinely going down the path towards doing something insanely drastic. I basically just asked the universe for help one day while in the middle of another crying episode and I had this strange, sunny feeling kind of leak into the darkness I was harboring inside of me. The next day, by chance, I met my group of friends on a video game I played regularly at the time. They lived in an entirely different city and had entirely different lives from me but we all just clicked. It took a month or two for me to settle into that friendship and understand that they were gonna stick around, and they've been my best friends for three years now. Some of my best memories are from that first summer that I knew them. Recently, all within the space of two weeks, I lost my job, my house, my, now ex, cheated on me and I'm across the other side of the world from my family. I had never been at rock bottom before but I was certain this was it, so I begged the universe to help me get out of this somehow. Yesterday I finally closed the chapter with my ex, completely got rid of his stuff and put it behind me. I also sent a message to all my friends and family back home telling them how much I loved and appreciated them. Today I got a call from my boss offering me my old job back, was offered a huge commission for my side hustle, digital art, which will pay my next 6 months worth of rent and will be able to fly back home soon to see my parents. I don't know who is looking out for me but I'm beyond grateful. All my life, whenever I went to the beach I had wanted to find an intact sand dollar. I had found lots of pieces, but never a whole one. When I was in my mid-thirties, I went with a group of friends to the coast. I was walking alone along the beach in the moonlight close to midnight. I was feeling very sorry for myself in the dark, and really lonely, even though I was with my friends that weekend. I had just started thinking the thought. Wouldn't it be a great sign right now to know that I'm loved if I finally found a sand dollar? I had barely formed the thought when I looked down, and right at my feet was an intact sand dollar. I was walking. What would have been a four hour drive? And I was walking. I straight up begged for a car to stop and pick me up and literally seconds later a woman stopped who was traveling all the way to where I was heading. Same town. Four hours away. What are those odds? I had gotten a job at a retail store and went in for the orientation and to-do training. The vibe was kind of off in the store but I ignored it. I got to the back where the computers were but couldn't shake the feeling of being uncomfortable. In my head I said, alright universe. If I'm not meant to work here, show me some kind of sign. 
make them send me home for the day or something. About an hour later, a huge storm rolled in and shut off the power in the store. The manager came in and said for me to go home since the computers weren't working and I couldn't do my training. A couple months later and I was working at a new job that I absolutely love. I'm not superstitious at all, but my uncle is. When my nan passed he went to see a fortune teller who told him that anytime our family sees white feathers around, that's nan's way of showing us that she's there. I thought it was a load of bullshit and forgot about it. A few years later I was at a music festival. Everything was coated in dirt and dust being churned up by thousands of people's feet. Even the air was so thick with dust it was making it hard to see and breathe. I was on the edges of the mosh pit when I started to have my first panic attack. I'd never had one before, didn't know what was happening to me and I was terrified. I felt like I was being crushed and like I was the only person in the world at the same time. I remember desperately thinking I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be here alone I crouched down in the middle of the dirty dusty crown and when I opened my eyes there was a single white feather on the ground right between my feet. It was perfectly white, no dirt, not stepped on or anything in a mosh pit. I stared at the feather until I could get my breathing under control and get out of there and I still have that feather. Lottery tickets. I was always curious about lottery tickets but never wanted to indulge in it. One day in a grocery store, I told the universe, I am going to buy a lotto ticket now, not the grand bumper ones, just a simple scratch one, for the first time in life. If I win a prize, I'll take it as a sign from you and never buy it again. I bought a ticket for $3, scratched it and won $500. I smiled and donated $250 of the amount. Enjoyed some good food multiple times with the other $250. Never bought or looked at a lottery ticket again. Will never do. I decided to kill myself about the age of 13. Life sucked, and I planned to go home from church that night and off myself if there was no direct intervention. Out of nowhere my aunt stopped me and said I feel like you need to come home with me. And I'm still here. My, then, girlfriend was having a really awful week. I felt terrible for her, which made me realize how serious our relationship was because empathy is not a strong suit of mine. She wanted to take a trip to the Grand Tetons to clear her head. She wanted to see a moose on this trip, but it was August so relatively unlikely since they tend to move to higher elevations that time of year. I had never seen a moose in the wild. Before we left, I thought if we see a moose on this whirlwind 72-hour road trip I will take it as a sign I should marry this girl. Sure enough, right in the middle of the day, on one of the busiest trails in the park, is a great big bull moose hanging out in the lake. Married five years this year. I had asked the universe for a sign of good and friendly people really existing out in this world. I know, it's kinda stupid but I have struggled with making friends that weren't toxic, and I felt like I just wasn't destined to have great friends. About two days after I had asked for a sign, I went to my local park to do my daily routine of sitting down, smoking my cigarettes and reading and for some strange reason, a pair of strangers came up to me and introduced themselves. We ended up talking with each other for what felt like hours and eventually. I had asked them why they came up to me and the guy said oh, we made a deal to see if we could make any new friends and we did. You're a new friend. After, we all walked and got some cookies and ice cream and chilled again, by the river this time. They both are now my closest friends, and it all started because I was at the right place, and at the right time for them to come up to me. I strongly believe that it was the universe's doing and I'm so grateful for it. Once while walking to work as a teenager I asked God to show me a sign if I should get out of my relationship, abusive ex, and just as I finished the prayer a fish came flying out of nowhere and smacked me in the face. I went down and blacked out for a second and when I came to there were these three hillbilly men surrounding me, fanning me, and just generally freaking out. When they realized I was awake they just started apologizing and said they swore they had put the strap on their cooler. They gave me some ice for my eye and walked me down to work so I could call my mom to pick me up. I broke up with my ex the next day out of fear of being smacked by a rogue fish again. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.